On July 9, 1868, the 14th Amendment was ratified as a new amendment to the Constitution. And the 14th Amendment is still in the Constitution today, despite times being way different than what they were in 1868. But what really is the 14th Amendment? And what did it do and what does it do for the citizens of the United States of America? The 14th Amendment states that all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law that shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States. The Equal Protection Clause states that no state shall deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. The 14th Amendment was ratified during a time period in which many minorities, such as African Americans or Native Americans, had nothing protecting them from the harassment they faced from the dominant majority groups. The 14th Amendment was passed after the Civil War. It was seen as a way of incorporating African Americans as full citizens in the United States. I know what you're thinking. Slavery isn't around anymore. So what's the use for the 14th Amendment? Well, actually, we argue that the 14th Amendment is just as important as ever. He thus supports the position that a private business should be able to refuse to sell a wedding cake to a, a gay couple. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. The Civil Rights Act was passed in 1964, meaning that segregation and the Jim Crow laws were no longer valid but that hasn't stopped the discrimination and violence towards people of color. The 14th Amendment protects the civil liberties of people of color, working as a sort of reinforcer for the Civil Rights Act. A person of color cannot be denied a house, loans, insurance, healthcare, marriage, or anything like that because of their race or ethnicity. The 14th Amendment also plays a big role in a very controversial issue in today's media, immigration. According to the Migration Policy Institute, in 2015, there were 43.3 million immigrants in the United States, making up 13.5% of the total population. About 167 years ago, the amount of immigrants in the USA capped at 2.2 million. Going to a different country, you may not speak the language, and they show up, everything that means the world to them is in this one, one or two bags that they're carrying. In 2015, India was the leading country of origin for recent immigrants, with 179,800 people arriving, followed closely by China with 143,200 people arriving, 139,400 people from Mexico, 47,500 people from the Philippines, and 46,800 people from Canada. Many say America's immigration system is broken for a multitude of reasons. We met with an immigration expert, Melissa McGuire, to find out why. It, 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 at the core of this issue, um, whether it's expedited removal, whether it's DACA, whether it's um, a lot of these policies, is due process. Um, whether or not to extend due process to um, these individuals. And uh, when you expedite anything, you're essentially cutting them short of due process. You're not giving them an opportunity to have a voice. According to the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE agency, its main purpose is to find and remove illegal aliens who are criminals, fugitives, or recent arrivals. The thing is, most detainees who are deported aren't criminals. Of those who have been convicted of a crime, almost half were for nonviolent offenses such as traffic violations. While some Americans want the immigrants gone, there is a substantial amount of work done by immigrants to ensure the safety and comfort of American citizens. This means that without the 14th Amendment protecting immigrants, our entire American way of life could disappear or change. An arguably more controversial topic in today's media is DACA, or the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Act. If you come to the U.S. when you were under 16, if you were either in high school or had a high school diploma, and if you had either no criminal record or like a teeny tiny misdemeanor, then you could apply for the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA program. Basically, a permit that protects you from getting deported and allows you to work legally in the U.S. Between when DACA was enacted back in 2012 and it was repealed in September 2017, over 2 million requests for DACA visa have been received. Out of those, that comes to around 1,500 accepted requests daily. DACA was repealed in September of 2017 by the Trump administration. But what does this mean for the Dreamers? 
it means that they will be put, they're at risk of deportation. It means that they will, uh, you know, be back in potential removal proceedings if they were previously, um, they're back in the limelight. I came here at the age of seven. This is the only country I know. If I were to go back home, I don't have anything back home. This is my home. DACA didn't just protect the children of immigrants. It helped safeguard our future as a country. It is important that these children of immigrants are given due process of law and are protected by the 14th Amendment. The 14th Amendment protects more than just immigrants and their children. In fact, you're probably protected by the 14th Amendment in more ways than you think. The decision, which was written by Justice Kennedy, who has written the court's previous major gay rights rulings, said that the 14th Amendment of the Constitution applies to same-sex couples as well as heterosexual couples. Gay marriage was legalized in America on June 26, 2015, using the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. Here in Orlando, there is a sanctuary for the LGBTQ community called the Center. At the Center, different services such as STD testing, counseling, sex education, and support groups for anyone and everyone are offered. We talked to the director at the center to find out how important the center and the 14th Amendment are to the community here in Orlando. Right now in the state of Florida, it is still legal to fire someone or to deny housing to someone because they're LGBT. Everybody says, what's the, what's the gay agenda? The gay agenda is you get up in the morning, you have your coffee, you go to work, you come home, you have dinner. That's the agenda. Where our agenda is just like everybody else. America as a country has gained so much strength from the clauses of the 14th Amendment and it has ensured a more just and brighter future for the citizens of the United States. The 14th Amendment makes sure that America really is the beacon of hope that we call the land of the free and the home of the brave.